This is a Howard Model 450A receiver from about 1938. It's uh, it's in pretty good condition. Um, just acquired this one yesterday, and uh, it has been recapped by uh, its previous owner, and it's working. Um, I just uh, giving it a quick power on. I'm just going to demonstrate it in a second. Um, but it is in pretty good shape for um, for a 1938, and particularly for a Howard. I haven't even dusted it yet. <laughs> um, there's this sort of flap at the back that that lifts up, and you can see some of the tubes in there. It's kind of neat. I haven't really checked out the schematic or anything yet, but I think it's a 12 tube radio. Couple of six V sixes in the output, one RF stage, two IF stages. Um, it's got some nice features. I don't think Howard are a particularly uh, brilliant uh, performance receiver, but I just like the style of this. It's just got that uh, industrial design meets Art Deco wonderness about it. <laughs> anyway, I'll uh, switch it on, and give it a give it a little, little try. So it's got RF gain. It's got. Uh, BFO pitch and BFO injection level and off, which is kind of neat. So you can you can change the amount of uh, BFO injection, which is uh, which is kind of unusual. And it's got a BFO shift for different bands, which is uh, interesting. I haven't really played with that yet. Um, it's got a meter zero set on the front panel, which is a bit unusual. It's normally a rear panel um, control. Off and RF gain control, main tuning, band spread tuning, band change, AF gain, send receive. Then it's got AVC on and off, and then it's got different bandwidths. So I haven't checked out the IF uh, shift on band E and F. I think that must be something to do with getting complete coverage um, across the whole receiver, but I haven't checked that out yet. And it's got broad and sharp, which I think are uh, tertiary taps. Oh no, one or two of the IF transformers, and it's got a crystal filter as well, and a crystal phasing control, which is nice. And he's even got a tone control. Anyway, I'll just turn it up and see how it goes. So it's tuned to a very strong local station at the moment, just on an active mag loop antenna. Tone control works right. okay. Folks, uh, quick break. We'll be right back. This is a very safe, very strong station. So uh, there is definitely a null on the crystal, there, which is great. Health officials have confirmed a case of measles in a child under the age of 10 in the Vancouver Social Health Region. I'd like to help off to Dr. Bonnie Henry. Oh, nice, uh, nice action on the band spread control. I love that uh, little clock dial there. It's great. Interestingly, the broadcast band splits into two bands. It goes from 550 kilohertz up to just over 1.2 megahertz, and then uh, then it goes from 1.2 megahertz through to uh, the end of the broadcast band and beyond. Something's crackling there. It could be uh, could be some dirt in the tuning gang or something. Very active S meter. <laughs> Try another band. This is uh, this is covering the um, the upper part of the broadcast band. It's kind of appropriate music there. <laughs> Big band sound. Yeah, something needs cleaning in there for sure. That's not bad. Let's see if 
anything on the shortwave bands. Mm, maybe WWV or something like that, 15 megs. There might be a separate antenna for this thing. I think there might be a separate antenna. Shortwave antennas over here. Let's just swap the antenna over. That's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? So I haven't, uh, I haven't checked out the schematic or anything really on this yet. Not really getting anything there. No, don't think the antenna is connecting properly. Anyway, I just thought I'd give it a little bit of a, a check out and um, so folks can see this uh, rather beautiful receiver. And uh, I'll be working on this at some point in the in the near future. I've uh, currently got a national um, NBS1 uh, receiver on the bench, which is a version of the national NC183 uh, with some... Uh, Additional IF, uh, IF filtering options in it, which is quite interesting. It's also got some upgrades over a standard one, which has got uh, ceramic switch wafers in the RF section. Um, and this is fairly original. There's one or two little things being done to it over the years, but not much. I think it's got mostly the original caps in this. So anyway, this is this is the project that's ongoing at the moment. And um, I've also got one or two others in the pipeline, but. Uh, I'll say this Howard is uh, is mine and it'll get slotted in somewhere along the way. Okay, Howard model 450A.